Hi there, I'm Liz from the WQED education team and I'm here today with my friend Luna. Now you may be looking at Luna and thinking, she looks like the moon. Well, you'd be absolutely right. Luna is the moon. And she's from a show called Let's Go Luna. Luna and her friends, Carmen, Andy, and Leo, travel all around the world exploring new places. And it's fun because Luna, since she is the moon, she can go everywhere because no matter where you travel in the world, the moon is always there. One of the places that Luna and her friends have visited is Beijing, China. And today, I thought it would be fun if we made the Chinese rattle drum, which you can see in an episode of Let's Go Luna. And it's something that you can use not only as a decoration, but also as a toy to make a fun beat when you have your dance party later. To make our Chinese rattle drum, all we need are two plain white paper plates, some red paint, some red ribbon, about two pieces of it, about six inches long, some pennies or beads or bells that you can add to the end of your string that'll make the noise for your drum, and then an unused pencil or a stick that you're gonna use to hold your drums and tape or and a stapler to put it together. The first thing we need to do is paint these white plates red. Paint the whole thing, cover it all up. You don't want to see any of the white. And it's okay if you don't have paint. If you want, you can use red crayon to color your paper plates in. You can use a red marker, colored pencil, whatever you have, just make sure you make these plates red. You want them to be nice bright red. Hard sometimes getting that paint into the little ridges of the plate. Almost done. One more little spot here. All right, there, our first plate is done. I'm going to set that one aside to dry. And now we'll paint the other one. It's nice since we're filling in the whole plate, we don't have to be super careful with what we're doing. Now is the part where you have to be patient. You have to set your plates aside to let them dry for a little bit because you can't decorate your drum when it's wet. Now I painted some plates earlier so I can show you how to finish putting your drum together. If you'd like, you can decorate the outside of your drum when it's, when it's dry. I thought it would be fun to put some Luna stickers on mine, so I'm gonna do that right now. On the one side, I'm gonna put, I got a little paint on it for my fingers. I'm gonna put Luna on that one. And I'm gonna put, another Luna sticker on this one. And we're gonna flip it over to the side that is not painted. And the first thing you're gonna do is to tape that stick on, because that's what you're gonna use to hold your drum. I'm gonna use a couple pieces of tape because I wanna make sure it's on there nice and tight. I don't want my stick to fall off. So we got our stick on. And now we need to add our ribbons. That aside. Now remember I said I was gonna use pennies on the end of my ribbon to make the noise for my drum. So I'm just gonna tape those onto the bottom of my ribbons. But you can use <clears throat> whatever you want. If you have bells or beads, whatever is gonna make a little bit of noise just to make it a little more fun. and two. And once you have those taped onto your ribbons, then you're gonna tape your ribbons to the inside of your plate. One on each side. One there. And one here. And we are almost ready to put our drum together. Now the last thing we need to do is put our drum together. So we need our other plate. We're gonna stick that on the back 
And this is the part you might need help from a grown up with. Then you're going to staple your drum together. So just put a few staples around the plates. Maybe two more, one on the bottom. And when you're finished, ta-da, we have our rattle drum and you can shake it back and forth. We'll make a little bit of music for you that you can have while you dance. We'll see you next time.